We all eat food every day, but I wonder if we're gonna agree on what foods we like and which ones we don't. Let's play this or that. Yeah, I like this idea. Okay, we'll put two foods on the screen and we'll choose which one we like best. And let's see how many we agree on. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Um. I think I like waffles. Yeah. No, more. I think we agree on this one. Yeah. yeah. Waffles. Ooh. Ooh. I think I, I think Twix. Oh, that's wow. two. We're okay. The same. Oh. Chicken nuggets, definitely. This is tough, but yeah, chicken nuggets for sure. We're agreeing on everything. Uh, uh, I think m &Ms. I'm going Skittles. Oh, okay. That's the first one. Ooh, I like blueberry Ooh, pie. Switch. I want rhubarb. For sure. Yep. Milkshake. I'm staying over here. Hot punch sundae. French Ooh. fries. For See, sure. now I order french fries more, but like... But you like onion But I do one? really okay. like onion. I think I'm going to stay over here. Oh, Sour, Sour Patch Kids. Kids. Yeah, get over Definitely. here. Come on. Ice cream. The ice cream, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like funnel cakes. Uh, yeah, I think I'll stick with funnel cakes. Yeah. I'm gonna stay here for sugar. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna choose oatmeal okay. raisin. I do like them. Yeah. Ooh. Doritos. Yeah, I have to pick Doritos. I like Starburst a lot. Oh, I'm gonna stick with Jolly Ranchers. I had one yesterday. So, we didn't agree on everything, did we? No. That's because food isn't good or bad in and of itself. It's just food. And although we might like some foods more than others. In today's part of God's Big Story, Peter learns not to label anything, whether it's food or people, as bad. Because God made them all. Because God made people, he wants a relationship with all of them. Yeah. Today's wonder truth is the Holy Spirit is for everyone who believes. Let's check it out. I'm going to start this story with a trivia question. Here it goes. What? Abraham Lincoln! Major League Baseball! William Shakespeare! Um, purple? Wow, those answers were all so wrong. It's a good idea to wait for the question to be asked before answering. Which is, did you know the first disciples were all Jewish? Hmm, interesting. Even more interesting, at the time, Jewish people didn't really interact with non-Jewish people that much. Weren't the disciples supposed to be sharing the story of Jesus with everyone? They believed that every non-Jewish person should become Jewish before they could have a relationship with God. Wait, is that still true? No. God loves all people and wants a relationship with everyone. Oh yeah. One day, there was this non-Jewish Roman soldier named Cornelius. And this dude loved God and wanted to follow him. So God sent a real life angel to speak to him? What? The angel told him how pleased God was with his love and devotion to God. Then the angel told him to send some of his men to go find Peter. Peter was one of Jesus' top disciples. Did they find him? Not yet, but while they were looking, Peter was having a vision of his own. Peter went up on the roof and started to pray. He was really hungry and he had a vision that a Jewish meal was being prepared for him. Wait, there's special food just for Jewish people? Yes. There were animals that the Jewish people considered unclean. They thought if they ate the meat from those animals, they felt like it would be sinning. So there, Peter was, on his roof, simply famished. When suddenly, he looked up and saw what looked like an enormous sheet coming down. The sheet was filled with all the animals Jewish people weren't allowed to eat. Then he heard a voice tell him to eat some of the meat from some of the animals. Alas, he refused, for he had never eaten anything he considered impure. But then the voice said to him, do not say anything is not pure that God has made clean. That must have been very confusing for Peter. Very. But then the Holy Spirit told him 
that three men were looking for him and that he should go with them. He came downstairs and bam! Those three guys were already waiting there for him. God's timing is amazing. So they all went back to Cornelius' house. And Peter asked Cornelius, Thou good sir, why hast thou sent for me? And Cornelius spoke unto Peter, saying, An angel told me to find you. Now please, good sir, tell me what you think God wants me to hear. Peter realized that his visions weren't just about animals or meat. God was saying he wanted everyone to have a relationship with him, not just the Jewish people. Peter told Cornelius that everybody could be on God's team because God doesn't play favorites. So anyone who loves God and trusts in Jesus as their savior can be in his family? Right, that's exactly what Peter told Cornelius and the others in his home. And while he was speaking to them, the Holy Spirit filled everyone in the house, Jewish people and non-Jewish people. It was true then, and it's true now. God doesn't reject anyone based on their race, gender, or ethnicity. The Holy Spirit is for everyone who believes. Because God doesn't play favorites. Today, we learned how God was pleased with Cornelius, a man who was not Jewish, but loved God. God showed Peter that Cornelius could have a relationship with God. And God wants each of us to have a relationship with him too. We learned that God's Holy Spirit is for everyone who believes. The disciple John writes in the Bible about a time when the Holy Spirit came down like a dove to be with Jesus. The Holy Spirit's not actually a dove, but sometimes a dove is used as a symbol to represent the Holy Spirit. That's right. As we color in the dove on the screen, think about how amazing it is that God gives each of us the Holy Spirit. If you trust and follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit was with, is with you at this very moment. And after a minute, we're gonna pray together. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you that you have given us the gift of the Holy Spirit to anyone who believes in you. Lord, would you help us remember that the Holy Spirit is always with us at every moment, even right now. We pray that we would remember this each and every day. We love you and it's in your name we pray, amen. Amen. It's time for our blessing now, so. Let's all hold out our hands like we're receiving a gift from God. May your hearts be tender towards the God who loves you. May you sense his love for you in all your days. The Holy Spirit is for everyone who believes. May you believe and receive his precious Holy Spirit. 